Back in 1999, Daryl Armstrong, while playing for the Orlando Magic, became the first player ever to win the league's sixth man of the year and most improved player awards in the same season. Since then, another three Magic players have won the most improved player award, Tracy McGrady in 2001, Hito Turkoglu in 2008, and Ryan Anderson in 2012, making it five total with Scott Skiles taking home the honor in 1991. However, Armstrong remains the only sixth man of the year award winner in franchise history. Perhaps that will change this year with the Magic having two legitimate candidates for that award in Cole Anthony and Mo Wagner. Orlando's bench as a whole ranks second among reserves in points, third in point differential, second in rebounding, and first in free throw attempts. For Anthony, who you could argue could also be a most improved player award candidate, he has really blossomed this season. As advertised when he was first drafted by the Magic 15th overall in 2020 out of the University of North Carolina, the 6'3 guard has evolved into a dynamic shot creator with sweet spots all over the court. He's ultra crafty and creative with a nice blend of handles, touch, and strength. Among his most improved areas is his driving floater. Through 17 games, he's shooting 55.6% on his 27 attempts. Back in his rookie year in 2020-21, he shot 36% on floaters. Among the 35 players who have taken at least 20 driving floaters so far this season, Anthony ranks seventh in percentage according to second spectrum tracking data. Just on drives in general, he has been displaying an improved touch. So far, he's taken 40 driving layups and has made 55% of them. Last year, he shot 44%, which was one of the league's worst marks. On drives, he's blowing past his defenders at a higher rate. Last year, for example, on drives, when he took a shot, he blew past his defender just 15% of the time. This year so far, it's at 25%. Maybe the biggest thing though, is that he's drawing more contact than ever before, which is resulting in him getting to the free throw line at a pretty good rate. He's averaging just a shade under five foul shots per contest. Last year, he averaged 2.8 of them. He also has seven and one so far. All of last year, he had 20 of them. Anthony is becoming a really good isolation scorer, especially when his defender is someone around his size. He just has so many moves and counter moves in his bag, his footwork is excellent, and he's taking advantage of his matchups better this year. Last season, he made just 30 shots out of isolation. This year already, he's made 17 of them. He does struggle a bit against longer players, as you see in these clips. I think a significant thing is that Cole is taking fewer shots from the mid-range than in the past. So last year he took 25% of his shots between 3 and 10 feet out. This year so far, that's at 19%. And last season he took 15% of his shots between 10 and 16 feet out. This year, it's at 12%. The Magic as a team ranked number one in field goal attempts within five feet of the basket, with Anthony averaging 2.6 of them per contest. He's been absolute money from the three-point wings, currently shooting 47.5% on 40 attempts from these areas. Among the 110 players with at least 30 attempts so far, that's the seventh best percentage. Conversely, he hasn't shot it well from the three-point corners, just 30% on 13 attempts. As a team, the Magic have the fourth worst percentage from the three-point corners. Just to touch on some other things he's done well, in four of his 17 games, he's dished out at least seven assists, including racking up 10 of them against the Raptors on November 21st. He has great chemistry with Mo Wagner, as you see in these clips, making nice drop-off passes and also finding him rolling to the basket. And then here you see a terrific kick out to Paolo Bancaro for the open three. 
Another thing about Cole is that he's a really good rebounder for a guard. Going back to the beginning of last season, he is the only guard with five starts or less, averaging over four rebounds per game. He's currently averaging 4.6 this year. As is the case for the entire Magic team, Cole has done his part defensively and with his hustle plays. He's second on the team in loose balls recovered, fourth in deflections, and he has taken a charge. Just some general stats, through 17 games, Cole is averaging 15 points on 43% overall shooting and 35.8% three-point shooting to go along with 3.7 assists, 4.6 rebounds, and 0.8 steals. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.